Hi guys, this is section 9.6, which is factoring trinomials that have a number other than one in front of the x squared using the cross method. There's a various, there are various methods to use. I'll show you guys cross and box in, in another video. I'll show you the, vo the box method. But I have four examples with a positive C and I have four examples on the other side that have negative C. The one with the positive is going to be a little easier and you'll see why. Um, again, the first thing you look at when you have a trinomial and you want to factor it down is this sign here. If it's a positive, then I know my signs inside of the parentheses are going to be the same as whatever is over here. Okay, so if this is a positive and this is a positive, I know it's going to be plus plus. And I'm going to rewrite my answer this way, so that's what that is there, just so you can see, I, just to save time. What I want to do is factor, and I'm not sure if you can see the colors, but I took the factors of 2 and put them here in green, and these factors of 2 in blue over here. And in the cross method, what you want to do is it's going to be this times this plus this times this. And it's going to be a cross. And I know you don't understand it yet, but hopefully you will after a bunch of examples. Um, what I want is a sum of the factors of 5. Okay, so in this one I'm going to have a sum of 23. Because it's a plus over here, I want a sum of 23, and you'll see what I mean. Because these are two prime numbers, I can put either one in. So I'm going to put a 1 in here and a 2 here. I could put a 2 there and a 1 there. It doesn't matter. But what, I, what does matter is where I put the green 1 and the 2. Okay. So what I want is I want the factors when I multiply it to add to 5. So if I did 2 times 1 like this, or 1 times 2, I get 2 plus 2 times 1, that's 4. Okay, so again, 2 plus 2, I'm multiplying. 2 times 1 plus 2 times 1. That doesn't work. I need, I need a sum of 5. So if I go 1 times 1 plus 2 times 2, so that's 1 plus 4, that works. So I want the 1 and the 1 and the 2 and the 2. So what that means is I need to put the 1x here. You can put, just a, you can put the 1 if you want and the 2x here. So I see the two, oops, erased it, the two and the two, and the one and the one. So when I add it up, I get 1x plus 4x, and there's my plus my 5x. So it adds up. So when I rewrite it here, I can just re rewrite it as 2x plus 1 times x plus 2, and that is my answer. Okay, so here's another example. I have 6x, 6n squared plus 23n plus 1. Because it's a plus, I know my sign to side are going to be the same as this, so I'm going to put plus plus. I put my factors of 7 here, I list them out. My factors of 6 is 1 and 6, 2 and 3. And I need a sum when I multiply it, when I add my crosses, to be 23. Okay, because I have prime number here, again, 1 and 7, I'm just going to put the 1 and 7 just to make it easy. Okay, again, you don't have to do it this way, just some, just one way to do it. And what I need to do is multiply my factors and come up with a sum of 23. So if I say 1 times 1 is 1, plus 42, that's 43. So that doesn't work. Or if I go... Um, 7 plus 6, that's only 13. So I know this one doesn't work. So I need to try the other one. And if I go 2 times 1 is 2, plus 3 times 7 is 21. So 2 plus 21 is 23. That's what I want. So I need the, one, the 2 and the 1 to go together. So if my 1 is here, I need to put my 2n down here. So there's my 2n. And then I need to put the 3n up here to get my 21n. So 2n plus 21n is my 23n. Okay. And if you notice, the green are all on the left. So I put my 2n and my 3n on the left side. I put my 1 and the 7 on this side. So same, it's kind of hard because they're both 2. But you want the blue, the factors of the, the C is going to be on this side. The factors of the C are going to be on the right. The factors of A, which is the green color, is going to be on the left with the letter. Okay, so my answer would be 3n plus 1 times 2n plus 7. And there's my answer. Okay. And don't forget to write it this way where it's next to each other. Don't leave it in the, the crosps. Okay, here's another one. 
I need a sum of 17. But now if you notice, this one was plus. This one is still positive 3, so I know the signs are going to be the same, but I have a negative 17 here, so I'm going to know it's going to be a negative negative in my answer. Okay? I list my factors of 20, so I have 1 and 20, 2 and 10, 4 and 5. List my factors of 3, which happen to be prime again, so I'm going to put the 1 and the 3 here, just to make it easy. And now I need a sum of 17. Okay? Or negative 17, either way it's going to come out the same because of this negative... 3 and negative 1. So if I go 1 plus 60, that doesn't work. Or if I go 3 plus 20, that's 23, that doesn't work. So I know this one doesn't work. Now if I go 2 plus 30, that's 33. Or I can go 6 plus 10, and I know that doesn't work. Because that's 16. Okay. So now I go 4 plus 15, that's 19. That doesn't work. I can go 12 on the outside, plus 5, and there's my 17. So I need the 4 and the 3 to get 12. So I'm going to put my 4 over here to get my 12y. And I'm going to put my 5y here with the 1. So you can see it multiplies cross. That's why it's called the cross. So I got 12y and 5y, which is 17y. So my answer is going to be 4y minus 1 times 5y minus 3. Okay. Here's a little harder one. I have big numbers, so instead of listing all the factors of 20 and 35, the first thing you want to do, and I should have showed this earlier, but I'm going to show it now in an, on another example. The first thing you do is look at your a, b, and c. So look at your 20, look at your 80, and look at your 35. And you look, if, is there any factors that I can pull out of that? Can I factor that down? And the answer is yes, I could pull a 5 out of each one of those. Okay. So if I pull the 5 out on the side here, if I divided that by 5, I would get a 4, so 4x squared. If I put a 5 out of the 80, I would get a minus 16x. And if I pulled a 5 out of the 35, I get a 7. Okay, And I'm going to put the plus back in in red. Now again, you can see it's a plus 7. So it's going to be a minus minus. Don't forget this 5 in your answer. So I'm going to drop it down now. I'll put the 5 down in the answer, but you don't have to use that till later. Okay. So, I'm going to list my factors of 4, which is 1 and 4, 2 and 2, and my factors of 7, which is 1 and 7. So you can see it's much easier when you factor it down. So instead of all the factors of 35 here, I only have factors of 7. And instead of all the factors of 20 here, I only have the factors of 4. It makes it much easier. Because this is a prime number, I'm just going to put the 7 and the 1 here and then figure out what goes with it. I need a sum of 16. Okay, So if I start here, I get 1 and 1 plus 28. So 1 plus 20 is 29. Or I got 7 plus 4, which is 11. And I know that doesn't work. So I'm going to cancel that out. And then I got a 2 plus 14, and there's my 16. And it really doesn't matter which 2 goes with the 7 and all, um, the 1 because they're both 2s. So I'm going to put a 2x here and a 2x here, and I got 14, and I got 2, and there's my 16. Okay. Or you can consider it as negatives. So my answer is going to be 2x minus 1, 2x minus 7, and don't forget that 5 in the front. Okay. So I dropped this 5 that I pulled out into my answer. Okay, so that's your final answer is with the 5. Okay, that's how you do it with the positive. Here comes the negative. It's a little harder. But hopefully we can get through this together. With the negative, you know one is going to be positive and negative. But what you need to figure out is which one goes to the 
is it negative one or and positive three? Is it positive three, negative one? And that's why I didn't put the signs in yet. Okay, so what I need is I'm gonna put this now. There's an invisible one here. I can put an invisible one. It's not gonna be there on the on the problem, but I'll put it there. What I need is a difference of one, or if I add them together, a sum of negative one. Okay, so because this is prime, it's gonna be a little bit easier. But what I want to do is, if I go 1 and 1, I get 1, and 6, the difference of that is 5, okay? But if I go 3 and 1, and 2 and 1, 3 minus 2, there's my difference of 1. So I want the 1 to be with the 3, I want the 2 to be with the 1, okay? So if I want the 1 with the 3, I'm going to put the 1 in here, and the other in here. I want the 1 with the 3, I'm going to put the 3 here, and I'm going to put the 1 here. Sorry, I forgot the two. Okay. Now what I need to figure out, where, where, does a positive or negative go here? If I want it to be a negative one, then what I need is a negative three plus two. Okay. So if I neg negative three plus two, I want to put the negative here and the positive here. Now when I think of the cross, I get one times negative three is negative three, two times positive one is two, and there's my negative one answer. And so when I write it, I'm going to get 1n plus 1, or just n plus 1, times 2n minus 3. Okay. So here's another example. Because it's negative, I know it's going to be plus minus, so I'm going to hold off for now. I need a sum, sum of negative 14, or a difference of 14. Okay, so I can see already um, 1 and 15, that's what I want. I want the 1 with the 1, the 5 with the 3. Because if I went 3 and 5, the difference is only 2. So I want 1 and the 1, so I'm going to put the 1 here, the 1D and the 5D. And I want the 1 with the 1, so I need to put it diagonal, and the 3 with the 5. Okay. And I want negative 14. So I want it to be negative 15 plus 1, which means I need to put the minus up here, or the negative sign up here, and the positive down here. Because now when I cross multiply, I get 5d times negative 3 is my negative 14d, plus 1d is my negative 14d. That's how I get that. Okay. So when I write my answer, it's going to be d minus 3 times 5d plus 1. I'm trying to color code it for you. So again, you can see the 3 or the C that goes here, goes on the right side. The 5 with my factors of 5 go on this side. Okay. So this one is a little bit harder because now it's not, over here I gave you two prime numbers, 2, 3, 5, 3. Now we got one where 8 is in there. Okay. So same thing, look at here. If I have this, I know it's going to be a plus minus or minus plus. I need a difference of 26, or if I'm going to add them, a sum of negative 26. Okay. Um, so I can start off the top. 1 and 1 and 56, that's the difference of 55, or 8 and 7. 1 times 8 is 8. 7 times 1 is 1. So I know this one doesn't work. So now if I go this way, 2 and 28, there's my difference of 26, 2 and 28. Okay, so I need the 7 with the 4. If I want to put the 7 here, it's the 7x and the 1x here. But I need the 7 with the 4, and I need the 1 with the 2. Okay, now i got to figure out I need a negative 26. So I want the 7 and the 4 to be negative, because I want negative 28 plus 2. Okay, and I'll write it down here. So I want negative 28 plus the 2 to equal to negative 26. Okay, so that's why I'm going to put the negative here and the positive here. Because when I cross multiply now, 7x times negative 4 is negative 28x, plus 2x is my negative 26x. Okay. So when I write my answer, I get 7x 
plus 2 times x minus 4. Okay. Here's the other example I wanted to show you where I got to divide something. If I can look at that, I know I can pull a 2 out of everything. Okay. So I'm going to pull a 2 out. And again, if I pull the 2 out, I'm going to drop it all the way down here so I don't forget into my answer. Okay. If I pull a 2 out of this, I'm going to get 20p squared minus 31p. And then minus, I'll leave it in red, 9. Okay. I'm going to list my factors. I'm going to list my factors of 20, so I'm going to be a little bit harder, you can see. I'm going to have 1 and 20, 2 and 10, 4 and 5. Okay, so you're going to see I'm going to work it out. I need a sum of 31, or sum of negative 31, or a difference of 31. Okay, so that's what I'm looking for, is the 31. Okay. So if I did this, I got 1 and 180 doesn't work, or 9 and 20. 20 minus 9, it doesn't work, so I know that this one isn't going to work here. And then if I went this way, I would get 3 and 60 doesn't work, so I know right off the bat this one isn't going to work. So 2 and 10, I got 2 plus 90, or I got 18 minus 10, that doesn't work, or 6 and 30 and that doesn't work. Okay. So now if I go this way, I got 4 and 45. So 45 minus 4 doesn't work. Or I got 36 minus 5, and that works. Okay. So 36 and 5. So I want to use this one, and then I want to use this one. Okay. And I'm going to go again. 36 and 5, so I want the 4 and the 9 together for 36, and I want the 5 and the 1 together. So I want the 4 and the 9, so if I put the 4p here and the 5p here, I want the 4 to be with the 9, so I'm going to put it that way, and I want the 5 to be with the 1. Okay. And I need a negative 31, so I want it to be negative 36 plus to get my negative 31. Okay. So if I want negative 36, that means I need to put the negative here. So 4p times negative 9 is that, is negative 36 plus 5, and there's my negative 31. So when I rewrite my answer, I put, make sure you put the 2 in front, 4p, 5p, the 1 and the 9. And there's your answer. Okay, so this is the cross method. It's one way of doing it. Um, this is the way I prefer doing it instead of the, bo the box method. Um, just remember to look if you can pull something out first. Um, if you can pull a 2 out of something. In this case, if you have prime numbers, you're not going to be able to pull anything out. But if you have all even numbers, you can at least pull a 2 out. And if you pull it out, don't forget to leave it in your answer. Okay, hope this helps. Take care.